Evergreen and Elements Composite Decking by Tamco provide a variety of colors, styles, and attractive options. Whether you prefer the real wood look of compression molded Evergreen or the various finishes of Elements, our products provide low maintenance decking with lasting beauty. This video contains detailed instructions to help you install both Evergreen and Elements composite decking efficiently and accurately. Before beginning, it is the responsibility of the installer to meet or exceed all code and safety requirements and to obtain all required building permits. These instructions are only a guide and do not address every circumstance. Proper storage of our decking materials will help ensure that all materials are in excellent condition when you are ready to begin installation. Materials should be stored on a rigid, smooth, flat surface. Unused materials should be covered and also be supported every two feet. Both Evergreen and Elements decking materials are heavier and more flexible than wood. Use caution when lifting, carrying, and handling. Our decking materials are non-structural products and should not be used as a structural member, including joists, load-bearing columns, stringers, or beams. Before beginning installation, the layout or design must be established. In order to determine the most desirable layout, view all deck boards in place prior to cutting or fastening. When the preferred layout or design has been determined, the decking materials should be cut to size. When working with Evergreen or Elements decking, saw blades and router bits with carbide tips are recommended. For best results, use blades with two teeth per inch. To avoid clogging when drilling holes, frequently remove shavings by raising the drill bit out of the hole. Before fastening, pre-drilling the ends and edges of the boards is recommended to guard against splitting or cracking. When installing Evergreen or Elements decking, side-to-side -side spacing must be a minimum of one-eighth of an inch between adjacent boards. This allows for the decking materials to expand and contract with changes in temperature. End-to-end -end spacing between boards must be approximately one-sixteenth of an inch for every 20-degree increment of temperature difference between the temperature during installation and the maximum expected temperature in the area. For example, if it is 80 degrees Fahrenheit at the time of installation and the maximum expected summertime temperature is 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the end-to-end -end spacing should equal 1 16th of an inch. The maximum recommended center-to-center -center spans with a minimum of three joists are as follows. For a 1x4 or 1x6 inch board, the maximum center-to-center -center span is 16 inches for residential and light-duty decks, 12 inches for commercial decks, boardwalks and marinas, and 16 inches or less for residential playground equipment. For a 2x4 board, the maximum center-to-center -center span is 20 inches for residential and light-duty decks, 16 inches for commercial decks, boardwalks and marinas, and 16 inches or less for residential playground equipment. For a 2x6 board, the maximum center-to-center -center span is 24 inches for residential and light-duty decks, 20 inches for commercial decks, boardwalks and marinas, and 20 inches or less for residential playground equipment. After pre-drilling, fasteners must be spaced at a minimum of 3 quarters of an inch from the end of the board and 1 inch from the edge of the board. The decking must be fastened at every joist. Deck material may swell over fastener heads. Gently hammer the material down to cover the fastened head. When using wood or composite screws, boards that are one inch thick require a number eight, two and one half inch screw. Boards that are two inches thick require a number eight, three inch screw. In colder temperatures, pre-drilled fastener holes should not exceed three quarters of the diameter of the wood screw, like bolt, or composite screw being used. The weathering process for our decking products will vary due to region, climate, rain, and sunlight exposure. Colors will usually weather to a lighter shade 
within the first 12 weeks of exposure to the environment. Semi-annual cleaning of your deck is recommended. Mild stains may be removed with commonly available deck washes containing sodium hypochlorite. Sanding the surface to remove stains is not recommended. Thank you for choosing Evergreen or Elements Composite Decking. We're confident that you'll enjoy years of lasting beauty from our decking products. For more designs and detailed installation instructions, visit evergreen.com or elementsdecking.com. Tamco goes beyond decking and railing, providing a wide range of trusted building products, including Lamorite composite shingles, Metalworks steel shingles, Heritage laminated asphalt shingles, waterproofing products, driveway products, and more. For information on how Tamco products can add lasting beauty and protection to any home, contact Tamco at 1-800-641-4691 or visit tamco.com. As the only composite decking made with a compression molding process, Evergrain Composite Decking creates a strong, durable board with lasting deep grain beauty. There's no better way to dramatize this beauty than with EG123 Hidden Fasteners, designed exclusively for Evergrain Decking. EG123 Hidden Fasteners enable you to create a smooth deck surface for a whole new level of style and sophistication. This video contains detailed instructions for installing EG123 hidden fasteners with a 45 degree deck board to joist angle on the deck. Before beginning, it is the responsibility of the installer to meet or exceed all code and safety requirements and to obtain all required building permits. The EG123 hidden fastener has been designed to work specifically and exclusively with the Evergreen 1x6 and 2x6 decking profiles. Usage of the fastener with any other product has not been tested and is not recommended. Make safety of the workplace a priority. Always wear the proper protective clothing and safety equipment. Framing supports should be straight and level with each other to ensure proper installation and an even surface. EG123 hidden fasteners must be installed in accordance with the installation instructions. Deviation from these instructions may result in unsatisfactory performance and may exclude coverage of your EG123 hidden fastener under the limited warranty. As the name indicates, installing EG123 hidden fasteners is designed to be easy. The only tools you'll need are a power screw gun with a ratcheting torque setting, a 1 8 inch drill bit, a pencil, and if you prefer, a square. To assist with the handling of the 3 quarter inch board screws, a magnetized bit holder is recommended. You will also need to purchase 2 and 1 half inch deck screws. All other necessary materials are included in the product packaging. These materials are 3 quarter inch board screws, 1 and 1 half inch joist screws, a square head bit, and the EG123 fasteners themselves. The first step in the process is preparing for the installation. Any framing up against a structure should be doubled for proper installation. Always start installation in a structure corner and work toward the outer edge of the deck. Framing blocks can be added for existing frames. The next step is to place the first corner board in position where it will be installed. Vertically mark the decking board at the framing seams. Now, flip the board over and extend the vertical mark along the bottom of the board. Hook the fasteners on the edge of the board with spacing tabs right against the board edge and pointing downward. Slide the fasteners along the edge until the pencil mark runs through the center of hole B, while allowing hole A to extend over the board. Be sure to use a low torque setting to avoid spin out. Complete installation of the first board by flipping the board back over and pre-drilling a 1 8 inch hole in the corner of the board that will be against the wall. Attach the board to the frame using a 2 and 1 half inch color coordinating decking screw. To finish securing the board, install a joist screw through each fastener and into the deck frame. At this point, you can begin installing successive boards onto the deck frame. Place the next board in the desired position 
Mark the entire board from underneath with a pencil on the short side of each joist. The short side refers to the edge of the joist that appears shorter than the other, as the deck board crosses a joist or ledger at the 45 degree angle. Flip the deck board over. If you prefer, use a 45 degree square to continue the angle completely across the board. Next, place the fastener tight against the board edge with the spacing tabs pointing downward. Slide the fastener along the edge of the board until the pencil mark runs through the center of hole B while allowing hole A to extend over the board. Secure the fasteners on both sides of the board using board screws. Be sure to remember to use a low torque setting to avoid spin out. Once the fasteners are attached, flip the deck board back over. Position the board so that the fasteners slide beneath the lead edge of the previous board. Once the proper 1 8 inch integrated spacing is confirmed, attach the deck board to the frame using a joist screw through hole A of each fastener. Repeat steps 4 through 6 until reaching the final deck board. Depending upon your deck design, completion of your 45 degree installation can be achieved by following steps 2 and 3. Installation of your Evergreen deck is now complete and you can be sure it will provide years of natural beauty and lasting durability. Tamco goes beyond decking and railing, providing a wide range of trusted building products, including Lamorite composite shingles, metalwork steel shingles, heritage laminated asphalt shingles, waterproofing products, overdrive driveway products, and more. For information on how Tamco products can add lasting beauty and protection to any home, contact Tamco at 1-800 641-4691 or visit tamco.com.